the second room, and it only took us 35 minutes. Um, Did it really? Like a little bit, oh, man. but... It's fun. Like, the first time through, you should absolutely just be taking your time to explore and sightsee, because it's, it's incredible. Uh, I mean, it's very pretty. Yeah, it is very pretty. It's not pretty in the beta version. In the what? I've seen the te the like the play testing version of this when they had like the mm. old testing color palette. And, like the sand was green and some of the ruins were purple and it's like a disco party vomited on itself. I had to do color studies on some of my um, <laughs> characters in school. Yeah. Oh and, man. Uh, man, they were they were bad. <laughs> they, had, they were really bad. Oh, I, I ended up with uh, I think it was like a blue turtle. Oh god. And, like, uh, the yeah. snapping barris. The snap. Oh no! Yeah, you showed me it pictures was half of that. Half snapping turtle, half bear. Yeah. 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 One of the color studies were it was like green and black or something. Yeah, we're um. Do you still have that? Um, I believe so on my computer. And here it is. Perfect awkward silence. Now, <laughs> um, <laughs> what just happened? That's that's my editing cues to myself. Ah. <laughs> All right. I, I could hear the crickets on that one. Oh, God. Um, they are crunchy and delicious. That now, thing um, in front of me looks like a hand. Oh, yeah, a little bit with the little f uh, fangs sticking out of the yeah, finger fangs. Yeah, it looks like fingers. Wait, finger one, fangs? two, three. Yeah. Wait, three. Yeah, no, that's yeah, and fine. Then, and then sort that's of a fine. little one, a little janky one in well, the corner. That's six, then. The six fingers. <laughs> oh, my God, it's Count Rugen. Who? Uh, he's the six-fingered man from Princess Bride. Oh, yeah! Yeah. That's right. Yes, he is. I'm the dude that Inigo Montoya was looking for. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Are you going to make it? Oh, my God. Yay. Are you going to make it? Oh, oh you almost. Oh, you face planted so right close. into the fucking wall. <laughs> They animated face planting into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna stand here with these swimming things. Excellent. Yeah, they appreciate your efforts. Uh huh. Now they're the only ones that do. There are many swimmies to rescue in this level. Oh really? Yeah. You um. So you got a let's see. You got a tall wiggler over here, and uh, oh. go go sing at it. Okay, how do I sing? With your little corner button here, your O. Oh. Oh, yeah, and it shows you there. Oh. And, and it's dead. Gets slurped right in like a noodle. And then the doors open, and they escape. <gasps> they oh. escape from the big... They're mist. free. They are free. They're free of the big, ambiguously purposed stone bricky thing. Oh, look, a bridge. Yeah. So they like you, and they're going to help you cross the level. Oh, well, that's nice of them. Yeah. There's um, also a couple of... Woo! Nicely done. I, I don't know what that was. No, it's windy. That wind, wasn't me. It's windy enough in this level that you can actually surf from one end of it to another <laughs> if, you, if you do it right. You just got to get up to speed and, like, sort of land properly ah. and just sort of skate. Um, We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I've already done so. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is cool. This yeah. is the noodle that got slurped up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now it's a bridge. Yeah. And it's glowing at me. Oh, everything wants to glow at you. Yeah, but does that mean that it's happy? Yes. Okay. And you can sort of float across it. I'm glowing right back at it. Yeah. Because you're, I am sort of floating, you're kind of like communing magic back and forth between you and the thing. Okay, so yeah. what is the purpose of actually being up here? Um, is there a purpose? Yes. Uh, it's I assume just so. So basically, you made it up here. Now look forward, right? You've got the uh, nope, you've got the next one. You got to get over to. Stop panning. <laughs> Cameraman, what are you trying to do? Panning by itself. Yeah. So you just got to get up to the next one and the next one and the next oh, wait, one. Wait, what? But there's no bridge. No. That means there's still more swimmies you gotta rescue. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see myself. There I am. Okay. Well, in that case, 
Yeah. I can do midair acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. All right. You come to watch the shenanigans happen. Some shenanigans action. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did that one on purpose. Excellent. Totally on purpose. Oh, there's a hieroglyph over there. What? Oh, yeah, I see the, the glowy thing. Yeah. Here. Excellent. I was going towards these fish people. <laughs> um, okay. So, to the hieroglyphic. Yeah. Where, wait, where'd it go? It's, oh, it's yeah, over there. It's over there. Like how the wind is just <coughs> rippling the dunes towards you. Like it's just totally insubstantial like water. Flying is so much faster than walking. Yes. And it's so much better having the white pajamas, because then you can just fly very often, instead of stomping everywhere. Got it. Alright, and it's still sparkling. Why is it still sparkling? The, um, the hieroglyphs all leave behind a little sparkly residue of having once been there. Interesting. The yeah. camera does not want to be this way. Whoa! Yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there is glitter all over the house. Excellent. Um, yeah. There's it's, something else over here. It's true. There's fucking glitter everywhere. You can never um, get rid of it. There's regular glit regularly glitter on the cat. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's, it's usually intended that way. Yes. We intentionally put glitter on our cat. But don't have a fucking thing at us because it's food grade glitter. Yep. He's fine. He loves being fabulous. <laughs> this one does. Yeah. It was better with the black one. Mmm, because he, he contrasts. He contrasted yeah. with the glitter quite nicely and ended up looking like stars. It oh, was great. Yes. It was a very, very witchy cat. Yeah, there's that. I, I okay. think I put the video up on my Instagram. Yeah. I can't uh, remember. Oh, no, I did. I did because people liked it, so it's got to be up there, right? Yeah, so I think um, we'll just kind of mush that in. If if nothing else, we'll leave a link to it somewhere. Because Sparkly Cat is the best cat. Yeah. yeah. He's not with us anymore, though. No, that was. Uh, uh, it was big, quite unfortunate. It was a big it shit, was a, is what it was. It was, uh, yeah. It was a whole thing. Yeah. But oh. Ah, yeah. the wind's picking up again. Yep, the wind got you. Well, can't go that way. Nope. But Let's you can explore. go up here. Yeah. On to these big gray spiky things. Ooh, what are those? I don't know, but they remind me of uh, an area from, what do you call it? Um, slime Rancher. Really? Yeah, there's um, there's rock slimes that you can collect. Okay. And they leave behind rock plorts. Plorts. Yeah, because the little, like, diamond things they poop out yeah. are called plorts. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you, you being happy about a plort or two um, when when I remember you playing that game. The rock plorts get, or the rock um, slimes can, like, actually do some serious damage. Yeah? Yeah. Cause like, what, do you throw them at people? No, no, what the they hell? they roll, and then they, like, like, bump into you. Oh. And they actually, like impact your HP. You mean the rock slimes or do they roll their plorts at you? No, no, the slimes themselves because oh, okay. they have like rock, spiky rocks on their heads. Ugh, fuck those yeah. guys. Um, some other ones can do it too. Like there are a few, whoa. Yeah. Controller vibrating. A little I don't slippery. know what I'm doing. I'm just walking okay. around looking for stuff. So anytime you see a banner or a, a wiggler sticking up, you go sing at it, basically. Y yeah, but I don't see, oh, there's one. There's one. Uh, you have also left one behind like two or three times in a row where you were standing a moment ago. Yeah, I'll get back. To okay. <laughs> scarf, scarf, scarf. Mm. Ooh. God, that's handy. Okay. What, flying? Yeah. It really is. It really is. Yeah! Whee! Yay! More fish friends. Excellent. And there's one over there. Yeah, there's there. a, a bit of a wiggly dingler over there. <laughs> a wiggly dingler? A, wigg a wiggly dingler. Oh, and a hieroglyph over to your left. 
to my left. Yeah. Okay. I'll worry about that. In yeah. Second. What way is starboard on this thing? Is it that way? Isn't that no, to your star right? yeah, starboard is right. You're <laughs> smarter than me at nautical terms. <laughs> I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> starboard is l is right. Yeah, port is left. Yeah, port is left. Because they both have four letters. Yes. You actually told me that, and that's how I remember. Yeah, no, I I fucked that right up. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're the one who told me. To how right. could you? To the right. To the right. To the, to the right. It was to your I left, and then you turned completely around, no, and that was to your right. I thought it was further... It's over oh, there. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. I thought it was further back. Nope. We. Alright, the... Yeah, the control... I really didn't remember how floaty and squiggly the controls are until I took the controller for a second. Yeah. <laughs> hey, see why I'm struggling now. Yeah, no, <laughs> I absolutely welcome your struggles and appreciate them because, goddamn. Uh... I'm glad you walked it's at least a foot in my shoes. I mean, I a hundred percent. I got one hundred percent trophies on this game. I know, like, or at least well, at I one mean, point in time, I did. You no. dealt with the floaty yeah. controls at one point. Yes. But not recently. Honestly, you, you want to know something? One of my favorite games of all time ever, in any circumstances, is Jet Set Radio Future. Mm -hmm. way floatier like yeah that's fair like way more wiggly squiggly <laughs> and finicky and floaty and hard to control this is uh, unique and different and you are definitely at the mercy of the wind a little bit when you're flying mm -hmm. but it's all like i don't know it's smart okay so there are three yeah there's two to my right of and the, this thing yes yeah, and then two up this top one and then over here. one little guy up here. I think you can sing from here. Really? Yeah, your your singing range if you hold it down. It's pretty dandy. Yeah. Okay. And there's that one. Nice. Yay! Oh, and then there's a little one down there too. What? Okay. Where? So get these two up top and then just kinda s um I'll I'll just point to stuff, why don't I? I don't like this. It's panning by itself. I know. The the camera's really giving you a hard time. And I'm, I'm trying to, like, jump up there, but Yeah, it's but you're not. jumping face first into a brick. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. No, stop. Stop. Ho-cha. There you go. There's one. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think you need to get a little closer to the bay. Oh, wait, no, no. I got it. You can walk up it. What? You can walk up it. I can walk up what? I think you can, like, just start walking out onto the pillar. Eh. Meh. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm struggling. I think I, you I, just I'm, gotta, I'm gotta be brave. Okay, struggling. now sing. What? Now sing. Get the rest of it before you fall down off the thing. Yes! Oh! Oh! Well, see, I fell down off of it because I sang. Yeah, well... Yeah, it but... got all floppy. <laughs> yeah, well... From me know. singing to... Oh, that's a lot of fish totems. Yeah. Totems. A whole bunch of them. Mm-hmm. And... So the bridge is complete the, now? I think the bridge is complete now, but there's still wigglers to save there and there, and I think one up here. Uh, so it's it's just a matter of pride, uh, certainly for me. Oh, there, um, that one. Being able okay. to rescue all of the the creatures. Um, well, they are friends. Yes, they are friends. We love them and appreciate everything that they do. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple more dudes. I want to free them. Kay. Yeah, no, I see it. Okay. Just, just be patient, God. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get there. All right, we'll be there when we're there. I know. I mentioned that I'm bad at video games, but I'm not quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's not just like being bad bad at video games. I know everything that I see on the screen, but like you're looking certain places and I'm looking certain places, and I don't know. If we're looking at the same stuff, oh god, it's got a face. 
It's got a weird facey face. Is it a turtle? It looks like, um... No, Act it, one. It looks like the, uh, I don't know, the... the ah, ah, what the heck? What the hell are they called? Like the Order of the Night Owl or something? Uh, Batman villains? This is a DC no thing. They sell, they were selling the, the actual... Unpopular opinion, but I don't like Batman. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. God, that's going to get us letters of complaints. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it wasn't complete. You still needed these guys to make the middle one. That's a good thing you came over here. Now it's complete. Yeah. Hence the cutscene. And they all glow, and it's all happy and jolly and dandy and excellent. Okay, but there was still one... Wiggler, right? Yeah, yeah, just uh, back there a bit under the bridge. How? Um, oh, no wonder I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's you, under the bridge. Do you want me to kind of stand closer to the TV and kind of like point at stuff? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> where am I? Where am I going? Uh, to your to your right, just over here. <laughs> well, I mean, I understand basic instructions. Thank you. Okay. Just like sometimes it's it's good to have something pointed directly out so you can kind of navigate yourself towards it instead of just going, no, right, right, too far, shit! Ah! Like Alan Davis's GPS. Alan Davis's GPS voice. <laughs> oh my god. Right, right! We have to download that. I didn't that. even think of that one. No, I mean, you've got sort of an ambient field of communication. Well then why did I have to sing to the rest of them? Because they were big. Some, like, you, you only reach mm. so far in a circle around yourself. Singing extends it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to download Alan Davis's GPS voice for Bubba and not tell her. Or the Rob Brydon Welsh one. Oh, you've missed the turn, you plank. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his GPS voice? Oh, you've missed it. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I was paying attention when he did that. I want to hear. I want to hear Billy Connolly's GPS voice and Ooh. see if it's any good, because he's absolutely my, uh, basically my favorite human being. Um, who? Who is Scottish? Who thing that they actually old. did record? Um, um, was it Stephen Fry? Stephen Fry has done a GPS voice. Um, John Cleese. John Cleese, oh my god, that yeah. would be great. <laughs> It'd be, be fantastic the... GPS to have. I think there's another hieroglyph in this level if you turn around. Like, uh, pan the camera back behind yourself, I think. Uh, yeah. Hmm? I don't see it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're going this way now. Yeah, see, that's all I mean by like pointing at stuff. It's just a little bit of handy, hopefully. I still don't see it, but okay. Okay. <laughs> What's All under right. the waterfall? It's not a waterfall, it's a well, sand it's a, fall. Well, it's a sand fall. It does really not seem to stop ever, does it? Nope. All right. It's a lot of sand. Yeah. I mean, this entire planet is sand. Oh, there's so stuff in there. There is. There's a cave back there. <gasps> Cutscene! Cutscene! And it's not Actually, being interrupted. It's not, it's not a cutscene. Our cutscenes are not being interrupted, which really? I'm super happy about because that was a big worry for me. Um, we are recording this on a uh, God. What is this called? The Avermedia um, Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. And good God, has it been a pain in the ass to set up? I absolutely don't recommend this device to anybody, and I want my money back. Um. Maybe that's a bit mean. It's working now, but I'm so pissed. <laughs> okay, so I can't move the camera. It is stuck in an angle. That's, uh, I mean, all you have to do is walk back out again. I mean, yeah, but I can't really tell... What you're looking at? What I'm looking at. It, it's, is it a city? Yeah. It's, it's just... a city and a lot of wind. Oh, um, okay. Well, that was terribly exciting. It's looking like it's, it's a ruined city. Is it? Yeah, so you've got some uh, sort of crumbly, uh, breaky aparty bits up at the top of the buildings here. And it looks like this is already overtaken by sand dunes. 
Oh. So this okay. is. Uh, I just assumed the Sand Dunes were like in front. Yeah. No, this portrays uh, civilization, like the admittance, Crumbling. the admittance that the civilization has basically come to an end. Uh, and yet, someone still took the time to draw these hieroglyphics. Yeah. Basically, the last people who lived in this world. Artists uh, were very dedicated people. Took the time to make sure people knew <laughs> that they fucked it all up. <laughs> Make sure that anyone who finds the ruins of the city knows, knows that, that we fucked up. God damn, we got it wrong. <laughs> Don't do what we did. Yeah. We messed. There's something behind this one. Yeah. Honestly, like, I feel like that is basically the fundament, beginning and end of a historian's job. What? To basically point out. Be like, hey, yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, guys, yeah. we can't do that again. <laughs> Well, no, because you don't get a second chance at it. I'm I sorry, mean, but once your society is gone, you're probably dead. Yes, but if a society still exists, it has historians in it, and they have an opportunity to say, guys, tried this shit before. Went pretty badly. Yeah, Hitler. <laughs> that's I the first that's place it. anybody goes. Yeah, it went badly. Don't do it again. I'm yeah. talking to you, Americans. I don't know. Nobody points at Montezuma, or or um, I mean, some people go for the Stalin angle, but like, uh, you know. well, I mean, Hitler was the most notable. Right? Like, yeah, I mean, Montezuma and Stalin were pretty bad too, but um, uh, Mussolini. Uh, Mussolini, yeah. Yeah. Right up there. He was, uh, he was up to some. He, Where is this room that you were saying? He was Hitler before he before Hitler was Hitler. Okay, um, it's up here. So I think you got to go kind of around that way, a little bit farther, and uh, kind of stronger your way up. Oh, oh, can you make it all the way up? Oh, I'd be so nope. impressed. Nope. Oh, I tried. <laughs> the hieroglyph wall is just like, oh, hey, nice to see you again. <laughs> I don't get a lot of visitors, seeing as everybody's dead. How um, do, I, do I jump on this thing? I, I think so. A little bit of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. This is where the sand's coming from? Yeah, it's just generating spontaneously on top of this rock. Some of it's from up here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Glyph. Now you can go. Oh. <laughs> I just want to see what's up there. Your flappy arms. <laughs> I think we established that this character doesn't have arms. Yeah. So how can you flap? With you're my flapping, cape. You're just flapping your cape. I Wee. think this is just a boundary. Yeah. No, I think they want you to take the bridge like a normal person. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not fun, though. No, it, I think it would be great to have, like, a third suit, right? You get the red one where it's the challenge. You have to, you know, really make your jumps count. And then you've got the white suit where you get a lot of second chances and it's just kind of like a leisurely stroll through. You should have the black suit where then, like, it, the scarf never goes away and you can just keep flying forever. That would be the ultimate reward for just getting everything. Yeah. It would definitely give you something to work towards, like a reason other than other just than, exploring. Yeah. But then the game would have to be called something else. <laughs> and that would be a whole big thing. The game would have to be called Fuck About for 100 Hours. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> which is how some people play it. Which is absolutely fine. Well, the community journey is... is a very apt name, though I think. Yes. Because you're going on a journey. Yeah, you're, and you're, you're on exploring. A, on a little quest. No, you're not on a quest, though. Well, the, that's I, uh, the thing about this game. The way okay. that I'm seeing it, right, is that this game doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't have to have an end goal. Okay. You can just be exploring the universe, and like unveiling the story so i i do agree very much uh to the extent that um Forgot what I was saying. a lot <laughs> of the game isn't like the objective isn't the destination as much as it is getting there yeah exactly but it does definitely have an end goal which is that mountain up in the distance well 
What? Oh. Yeah. It's like Ori in the Blind Forest. <laughs> I'm terrible at that game. Oh, man. That's we gotta, for puzzles, too. We gotta play the crap out of that, too. I have it. It'll take days, but we gotta play that. Will it take days? I don't know. I don't I've never finished it. Yeah, neither. I mean, I watched you, you play actually. it for a little bit, but okay. I know, because some of the puzzles I can't get through because of my hand. Great. You've collected all of the things. Now we gotta... We There's gotta another sing. owl up here. Yeah. We Why gotta sing up these delicious pillars. I, what? Yeah. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Come here. Oh, or just walk near them. Yay! Wouldn't singing at them be more fun? It would be faster, certainly. What? Right I mean, this is not exactly slow. No. There. There we go. Now they're singing at me. Yay! It's a hymn. A hymn of... A hymn? Yeah, it's a hymn. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Now we get another part of this world's uh, amazingly comedic history. Why is it comedic? It's not. It's it's devastating. I was going to say, entire <laughs> civilization is gone, and you think it's funny? I do, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, wow. here we are, back at the corn. <clears throat> yes. And s oh, and they start building sticks. I think those are the pillars I just crossed. Yes, they very much are. Yeah, They've and then there's them, Nella at the top. And they reached up until they s found the swimmies. Oh, yeah, and, the and fishy people. Pe leaned over and peered at them very closely. And, and then there was a, a magical Traveling, traveling through these tubes here. Is that the, the cloth that the bridges are made of? Yeah. And it brought magic this, to so the, their pillar things? Yeah. So this cloth is the life form that all of the creatures that you meet are made out of. And in fact, you, yourself. Yeah, I was going to say. And they're, these guys are using them to power their cities. City's gone. City's fucked. Um, it's just me and the fish. Yeah. All that's left now. Gonna build a little hut. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're gonna build a little hut right here around and use this pillar, this just statue as a supporting down. wall. Right here? <laughs> oh. Yeah, right I was here. I was gonna pull like a um what do you call it? Uh, Miss Fisher. Miss Fisher. Remember in what the she do? in the movie? Where they had like the um, like the tomb that was underground. I don't. Where they had to go into the tomb. You know what? We have to watch that entire series over again because I can't remember shit. That was in the movie. I know it was in the movie, but that comes after. It comes after the show, so I we mean, have to watch it after the show. I mean, the show is pretty good, though. Okay, it's up to the next level. So that's our episode, and we're gonna get, see you guys in the next thing. Bye.